Hi guys, welcome to Easy Busy Gardening. I'm your gardener friend Ruchi and today I'm going to talk about invasive plants. So if you look at the definition of invasive plants, these are plants that are non-native to the region and they grow really vigorously and that's why they are harmful to uh, the environment. Why they grow so vigorously? It could be multiple reasons. Uh, you know, their root system is really strong. Uh, they grow in any kind of environment and they could produce a lot of seeds. So what happens is that if you uh, plant this uh, invasive plant in your garden and it grows vigorously, uh, the root system is really strong and it is propagating really fast. So all the other plants which are in the neighborhood they are basically choked because you know all the nutrients are hogged by this invasive plant so you definitely do not want invasive plants in your garden but even if you keep the definition aside if you have a plant in your garden which is multiplying like crazy and it's basically not letting any other plant grow that's a problem you want to get rid of such plants as soon as possible so today I'm going to talk about five such plants that I have personally dealt with and it's no fun. So the first plant in my list is bamboo. Now I don't have a bamboo uh, to show uh, from my garden and thankfully so because they grow so fast. If you have it in your garden, in the ground, in few years you will see bamboos growing all over. And even in your neighbor's garden because their roots grow, go so fast and they'll keep on producing pups and uh, they start growing everywhere. So if you have bamboo in your garden, get rid of it as soon as possible. Although it may take you a few years to get rid of it completely because you'll get rid of this bamboo. Some of the roots will be remaining. As I said, the roots are really long and then, you know, uh, some other bamboo will plant will show up somewhere else. You get rid of that and somewhere else it will show up. But you have to keep doing it till the time you get rid of them because there is no other way. So this um, plant uh, that I am showing you is from my uh, friend's garden and it was, you know, just growing on the side and he was happy with it. And he noticed that, you know, there are bamboo plants growing everywhere. And he had to you know remove it and even after you know six months after he has removed the plants these uh, pups are growing everywhere so you want to get rid of bamboo as soon as possible from your garden the second plant that uh, you want to get rid of is blackberry now i love blackberries you know the sweet and tart uh, taste of blackberry i really love but it's a pain to grow it in your garden. These plants, they, they are kind of trailing plants as you can see here. And they grow so fast. And that is okay, you know, you like the fruit and they grow fast. So what is there not to like? The thing is that they are really thorny and they'll just take over your garden. So, you know, you just plant one of these in your garden somewhere and then everywhere you'll be seeing, uh, you know, the uh, plants growing. Like here, this is outside my fence. So it is like three, four feet away from my fence. But I still keep seeing, you know, some shoots coming in my garden and growing there. For example, you can see there's one shoot coming here right on the fence they are so invasive they grow so fast they are so thorny that once they start growing in your garden uh, you'll have hard time removing them so if you see a blackberry plant a small plant in your garden dig it out and just dispose it off if you see a neighbor growing blackberry just keep an eye there because many plants will be coming your side too and you don't want them to grow and take over your garden. The third plant that I want to talk about is English Ivy. You know English Ivy is great for ground cover like you see here 
but if you don't prune it on the sides you know because it's a trailing plant you know all these uh, shoots they come out and they'll just keep invading your garden and slowly you know you'll have uh, english ivy everywhere so if you have a big yard uh, and you just want to cover it up with something something green uh, english ivy is perfect because it grows fast and um, it, you know it doesn't require much maintenance but make sure that it is a little bit away from your house because then if it is close to your house and you didn't prune it properly it will climb on the walls and you know it may destroy uh, the looks of your house and so many uh, rodents and rats they can hide uh, under this so even if you try to remove it uh, you can't get rid of it completely because you know even if there is you know one or two roots lying somewhere in such a big area it will just keep sprouting and keep spreading although it's not as bad as bamboo or uh, blackberry because it is not thorny you can easily remove it but the only thing is that you cannot completely remove it because there will be some um, roots lying somewhere which will uh, sprout again but it is good for containers like you know if you just wanted to put it in hanging basket that's perfectly fine the fourth plant that i want to talk about is agave you know there are many different varieties of agave you know long strappy ones uh, variegated ones um, and they grow so fast and they multiply so fast so growing is one thing but they multiply so fast if you plant one plant and it will in one season it will develop so many uh, more uh, pups that you know in the beginning you will be really happy that oh it's growing really nicely but then uh, it can take over the whole area and it is drought tolerant it doesn't need much you know it is frost tolerant it is drought tolerant so <laughs> you just can't kill it you know it's great to have it uh, in container because then it is contained but when you put it in the ground it just grows everywhere and let me show you look at this and they are so spiky if you look carefully you know these side they're so spiky and this top one like this is like if you put your finger on it you can really hurt yourself you don't want so many of these in your garden and especially because they are so spiky it's hard to remove them the fifth plant that i want to talk about is you know tall grasses with feathery like tips you know they grow so tall and especially in the coastal region and you just and they look so beautiful and you plant it in your garden and slowly you will see that they are growing everywhere because they these feathery thing they have you know a lot of seeds and they are scattered everywhere and the roots are so dense that nothing can survive near these uh, near this tall grass so do not plant tall grass in your garden they are, they look nice in the coastal region you know in uh, in their native environments don't bring it in your garden because you will uh, you will see that they have taken over your garden and it's really hard to get rid of them because of their dense roots so you know to summarize uh, my number one plant invasive plant is bamboo then blackberry english ivy uh, agave and then uh, tall grass so I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.